Hello, this is Adam with Intronus, and today we're going to be taking a look at remote data deletion through the software. Once you have loaded the monitor, you will see the ribbon of buttons across the top of the screen. We are going to focus on the Delete button. This will bring us to a page with a tree view of several different options. From this view, we can delete data off of the remote backup servers in three ways. We can utilize the Browse Remote Files browsing through the folder structure of the backed up computer. We can delete from the actual backup sets, deleting information from a specific backup, or we can go through the daily snapshots, which allows us to delete, delete information based on time periods. Another delete option is located under miscellaneous, and it's called stray files. Stray files will list and allow us to delete all information that is stored on the remote servers but has either been deleted locally or manually removed from the backup sets. Deleting stray files can be helpful for reducing usage, but always be careful to check that you have not accidentally deleted files from your computer that we can restore before purging this information. Once we have selected the information that we would like to remove, select the delete button in the lower right. If prompted to enter your password, enter it now and then allow the software to delete the information. This will bring us to a current activity screen which will show the status of the deletion. Once that's completed, we'll be brought back to the delete tab. The last few items at the bottom of this list allow us to see the SQL or exchange information that has been backed up and is available for deletion. This has been an overview of the delete section of the backup monitor. I'm Adam with Intronus, and thank you for watching.